I am so totally stoked to be here right now. This is so radical. I just want to thank Mimi Sparkles channel and Rose from the Rose Life for putting out this challenge and inviting me to participate. As you all can see, this is a hashtag 80s DT challenge and I'm going to do my best to represent the 80s totally like yes for sure so part of the challenge is to find a few things that remind you of the 80s from Dollar Tree and like I totally did find some stuff and I have a humongous amount of other stuff to share with you guys as well so hope you are totally chilled right now and ready to watch this amazing radical bodacious haul oh. <laughs> like i'm just trying to think of as many words as i can and somewhere in here i will try to fit in gag me with a spoon like you know so, the first things, first thing, like I found, was this Star Wars Dollar Tree bag. It's actually Droids Escape from Tatooine, and like my totally foxy husband, he pointed out that this is an actual book, because like you guys, he's totally a Star Wars junkie. So I know that like Star Wars started, the movies came out, I believe the first one in the 70s, but like I'm pretty sure that some of the other ones came out in the 80s. So that's why this totally reminded me of the 80s for sure. Another thing that reminded me or things were these palm trees. Like, anytime I see palm trees like this, like cheesy little palm tree decor, I totally think of the Golden Girls. And I do know that that started in the, I think, the late 80s. So it is totally an 80s show. And yes, thank you for being a friend, for sure. Totally. Like, what do you guys plan on doing this weekend? I love when we have a longer weekend, for sure. Um, hopefully, it's going to get nicer out around here. Uh, so, the next thing that reminds me of the 80s it, are these recorders. Yes, you guys. I remember being in probably like third or like fourth grade and our first music classes they busted out these recorders and I just thought they were so fun and I don't know how well these ones work but I'm sure some of the little kiddos that come around here will like messing with it or sl slobbering it up you know like totally gag me with a spoon. So the next thing that reminded me of the 80s was this binder pouch. Anything rainbows, anything unicorns totally reminds me of the 80s. You know what I mean? So I thought this was really cute. I love how it has a little rainbow on the zip tie and just open it up and there you go. You can use it for, you know, whatever, like makeup, pencils, you know, totally. And some stickers, of course. There are five sheets in here, and I do know that the peace signs are more of the 70s, but I do remember tie-dye being pretty popular in the 80s, so that's why these still reminded me. So five sheets of these, you guys. Pretty cool for totally a dollar. And the next stickers I got also remind me of the 80s because of the cassette yeah so cassette players for sure totally 80s i just really loved and i'm sure you guys did too that know what i'm talking about when the tape and the cassette would start to unravel and you'd have to dig out your perfect bic pen that had like the ridges that would perfectly fit into the cassette so you can like sit there and roll it back in and yeah good times 
Uh, this also reminded me of the 80s because, again, like the rainbow colors and puffy stickers. And I just thought these were totally cute. And I don't know, you guys, just like the 80s, I can't get my hair real big. It was bigger when I started, but it deflated. So, yeah, that's what's going on. Uh, something else, of course, that reminds me of the Golden Girls and the 80s are, yes, you guys, I know these are pink flamingos. I know. But why? I, I like saying pink chickens. It's fun. And it's just kind of something that, you know, it's it's an inside joke with me and some of my friends who've been here for a while and some of my newer friends who know what I'm talking about. And yeah, so pink chickens it is and they are totally 80s for sure. And hello, 1982, your teeth called and they are still stuck in a bit of honey from Halloween. I know you guys know what I'm talking about that grew up in the 80s. Oh my gosh, like they taste so good, but yeah, they will take your teeth down if you don't like let them melt enough in your mouth, but totally 80s for sure. And these are so 80s too, bottle caps. Yes, and the flavors in here are root beer, cherry, grape, cola, orange. Pretty sure I don't like these, but I wanted to pick out some 80s things. And I don't know, maybe Lily will think these are pretty cool. These definitely reminded me of the 80s. Some of these awesome rollers that when you have hair like mine... Um, you would try to get them out and they would be totally knotted and tangled and it'd be a really, really good time getting them out of your hair, but totally 80s. And some more stickers. You thought these were really cute. There are 32 stickers in here. So like, that's a lot. And I thought those were just so totally cute. Yes, I love putting these on friend mail packages. Speaking of, I have a couple things I need to get out, like, tomorrow. Oh, my gosh. Uh, and then they also had these super cute stickers as well. So cute. And then, of course, bows are totally 80s. And I thought this little pink bow for sure was, like, so 80s. Yes, so we'll just leave that in there. Maybe it'll help my poof. What up? And then, I don't know why, but this reminded me of the 80s. Uh, they also had, and I didn't get them, they call them snake eggs. And um, I totally remember doing these types of little gags back in the 80s. And the snake eggs, like you would open it up and there really aren't snake eggs in there, you guys. But you would open it and it was like snap a rubber band that was attached to, I don't know, like a paper clip or something. And it would like freak people out. But yeah, whoopee cushion remind me of the 80s as well and then the last thing that reminded me of the 80s unless there's other things that i couldn't find in this huge massive haul that i have um hello <laughs> if this doesn't say 80s you guys i don't know what does totally can't have enough aquanet for sure for sure so, I hope you liked seeing the things that I picked out that reminded me of the 80s. And I totally don't think I can talk through the rest of this video like this. So, um, I will still be looking the 80s, but I'm going to just go back to talking like me. All right. And if you would like to do this video as well, you don't have to wait to be tagged, but I am going to tag three people. So the three people 
that I will tag, I will put in the description box below. And I might tag a few more just in case a couple of you aren't interested. But you guys, this was, it's a really fun thing to do. And yeah, so hopefully you guys will totally, totally dig it for sure. Okay. Ready? Okay. All right. Whew. So, you guys, I went to Dollar Tree last Saturday, and I haven't been feeling that great all this week, so I haven't done any videos. Um, so, I need to show you everything I got last Saturday, but I also went today, which is Friday after work, and found a whole bunch of brand new stuff, and I got to show you all that as well. So, hopefully, you are just relaxing on a Friday night and are going to hang out with me so I can show you all these goodies. Uh, this isn't probably going to be too exciting, but these are really good, and I don't know what happened to mine. So, I got this egg slicer. It's made by Euro Home, and it is stainless steel cutting wire. And, yeah, these are great for slicing eggs. It is, like, coming into summer. So, definitely, you know, uh, macaroni salad, egg salad, all that type of salad season. And it's just convenient to have the little egg slicer. And I found these. Epsom salt tablets and these are by Assured. There are six of them in here and these are lavender scented and these are great to put. We buy um, or we've bought the little kitchen, like the dishwashing little tubs that they have at Dollar Tree and we use, we use those for foot soaks and you know we'll do little um, what, you, what do you call it? Oh my gosh. Like, I'm totally fried out or something. Um, we will do little foot baths for each other and do little kind of like pedicures, but not. So this is what they look like. They're pretty big tabs. And yeah, there are six of them in each one. And I grabbed two of those. These are really good to have around. We put these in our emergency bug out bags and emergency like first aid kits. We have more than one first aid kit. We keep one. Uh, we try to keep one fill, full in each car with just basics. And you never know. You never know when something's going to happen. But these are the Curad self adherent wraps. These are the Iron Man US series. And uh, they're the official medical supplier, but these are black rolls and they are uh, five yards long. So really, really good deal for a dollar. I got, I got two of those. I thought these cupcake holders were so pretty. They had the polka dots and then I got the red to go with it. And these look more gray. I thought they looked black in the store and... Don't mind my 80s chip nail polish, but um, really cute. And they also had these in the mini cupcake size as well, but I got them in the regular size cupcake. So I know I have more of these somewhere in the sea of stuff in front of me, but I was really excited to finally find the Garnier Fructus um, Strengthening Treat One Minute Hair Mask. These are huge, you guys. This is a 50. 13.5 fluid ounce container, and I must smell you. Oh, this smells really, really good. And I like, it does feel like a creamy, moisturizing type of feeling. You know, sometimes you try out stuff like this, and it's like more of a watery consistency, but this is definitely feeling really conditioning. And it smells so good. Oh, such a great find for a dollar for sure. Okay. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. I thought this was pretty cool find um, because I do color my own hair at home. And Matt does help me. I haven't colored, colored it in a while. If any of you have been with me for a while, you know that I like doing like a bright... Um, cherry red that's where 
all the blonde pieces used to be like a bright cherry red. I just haven't done it for a minute and I actually need to re-bleach my roots and so I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the red before it starts getting hot out because it bleeds out into the pool but anyhow enough about that. I thought this was a pretty good find because these little uh, bowls can be pricey at the like Sally's Beauty Supply, but it's a hair color application kit and it does come with the application brush as well. Totally. And these are what I use. So it's like, that's cool. Yeah. Pretty neat. Okay. Here's the other flavor of the Garnier Fructis. This one is a color vibrancy treat and it's also a one minute hair mask. Look at that. Oh, amazing. One dollar. You know these were like probably, I'm being generous when I say three bucks, but these were probably like four or five dollars. And this one smells really good as well. To me, it has like a strawberry scent to it. And I just needed some more of these plant labels. Nothing exciting to see here, so... They work great though, if you have like a label machine. Um, those labels will last through rain, sleet, snow, cold, everything, everything. They, they last year after year with the labels on them. So I found some more of these trolls. I, uh, these were new characters that I haven't found before. So they had this one that's a mermaid. And then this one, where's your name? Where's your name? Mini Guy Diamonds. Cute, cute. And these are another thing that in like Walmart, Target, whatever, those I think were like five or six bucks. So, um, oh, these were something that reminded me of the 80s. Bobby socks with a cute little frills here. So these are not for me, they're too small, but I would totally rock these, you guys. <laughs> these are um, a size one to seven in kids, but these are really cute and they feel nicely made. So if you have little girls and you like them to wear these type of socks, go check out Dollar Tree because these are really, really nice quality. And then randomness, randomness everywhere. Um, so they have like a whole section of Father's Day type of stuff and they had these socks out there. These are the Juncture brand. These are, these fit size 6 through 12 and I want to say these are kind of like the crew sock height, but if you have a hunter in your life, definitely these would be really cute to include with a gift for that hunter. Or just an outdoorsy type of person, you know. And they had, we played this game um, several months ago. We went to our friend's house that lived down the street. And we played this game called Left, Center, Right. Here it is. And we played with quarters. We played for quarters. And I actually ended up winning the most that night. Mm-hmm. But this was really fun to play, and their set came in like a box, which I'm sure was probably six to ten dollars when they bought it at the store. But here you go for one dollar. It's fun. It is fun. Whew. These were also in the Father's Day section, and it's a screwdriver set. You have your Phillip hat, Phillips heads and your flat heads. It's a six pack of various sizes. And I got this because we have like our better quality tools that Matt has out in the garage. And then we have just some tools that we keep available in the house for, you know, the little needs that come up where you need a little screwdriver. So that's why I bought these just to put them in our junk drawer. And then they had these cute little metal signs. So I picked up this one here to give to Matt. And then I also grabbed this one 
and they had one or two more I forget what they say but these were the two that I liked and these are you know metal so I thought that was pretty nice for a dollar and they already have the holes in here so they can hang it in the garage however they want to this was a crazy find too for a buck uh, this is Barbasol brand and this is the ear and nose trimmer so another great thing if you want to put together a basket for um, dad, husband, brother, whoever, a dollar. A dollar for a name brand ear and nose trimmer. Really, really good deal. And I grabbed some more of these three packs of the hand sanitizing wipes. They always have these at the register and I haven't seen this scent though. This is the coconut scent. And these are really great to keep in your bag or purse in the car. There's 20 wipes in each one. And then this one's a two pack and this is in the berry scent and there's 40 wipes in each one of these packages. Just kind of one of those good things to have around. Even before all things happened this past year, I always kept like Lysol wipes in a baggie and we would always clean off our grocery carts anyways. So we always keep stuff like that handy to wipe off, you know, publicly touched surfaces, I guess you could say. So I found this little sign and I thought it was super cute. It says, leave a little sparkle wherever you go. And I just thought that was happy and fun. And I think I'm going to be sending this in friend mail. And then I found the Dare to Be You. Everyone has already found this. But I, and I've been seeing it and haven't grabbed it. But I was like, you know what? Let me grab it because this one is pretty cute because it does have the B up there. So, and then I loved these picture frames. And I guess these are kind of 80s looking too, but these are four by six photo frames. I'm hoping they come out with like five by seven ones, but if you can see, oh yeah, you can see. It has like that iridescent look all around it. So I just thought these were really cute. And it does have the stand or you can hang it on the wall. So I just grabbed a couple of those. Look at how, look at that. And it doesn't even show up as good on camera as it does in person. So, pretty cool. I think this is the only book, but who knows. This is called Seasoned with Grace. Recipes from my generation of shaker cooking. And it's by Eldris Bertha Lindsay. It's a soft cover book. And I just thought it had some... Um, good sounding recipes. I like the pictures that are in here. They're like old pictures and it's kind of like, um, it looks like almost like an autobiography type of cookbook. So it has stories in it and then recipes. So grab that. And I do have some food finds and I think I have more of these somewhere but these are the loretta pasta salad and they always have the um, suddenly salad at the dollar trees around me but these boxes are a lot bigger than those so they had this flavor here ranch and bacon and these are 8.125 ounce boxes so it says just add mayonnaise, 25% more. I grabbed a couple of these because you've heard me say before, I like having these little pasta salads ready and handy if I'm doing an impromptu, like grilling up some hot dogs or something because somebody's coming over. I like to have something that I can throw together kind of quickly. I also found more of these headbands here. So I grabbed one more. I love these. I've been wearing mine. It's really, really soft. I like how it has the knotted look at the top. And I grabbed one of these for friend mail. I also picked up these little cat bowls here. And the 
reason I picked these up is because I always buy the little paper bowls at Dollar Tree to put the wet cat food in because I don't like, ugh, it just stinks. I would rather just throw out the bowl, honestly. But what happens is for some reason, Joker, my 17 year old cat, he doesn't like chew even the wet food. He just licks and licks and licks. So what happens is he ends up like licking his way with the bowl all the way around the kitchen and the dining room. And sometimes it goes under like one of our cabinets. And I'm like, okay, how do I stop this poor cat from following his food around everywhere as he's trying to eat it? So I, f I saw these and I thought the bowl would fit the paper bowl would fit in here, so this will just kind of keep it in place because it does have a rubber grip on the bottom. So that is why I grabbed two of those. And then also for the cats, honestly, I don't know why I buy cat toys because they always end up really liking things that aren't even cat toys. Like Maddie, my girl cat, she um, fetches the little rings off of milk containers and it's so she's so cute with it she's so good um she's so smart and she also takes the milk rings and she stacks them in the food bowl the dry food bowl so i don't know let me know you guys if you have cats and what that behavior means i don't know if she's marking that bowl as her food or if it's like opening a box of cracker jacks to her like ooh, when i when she gets to the bottom ooh, there's my toy you know i don't know but I was hoping maybe they would like this because they do have their claws and this is a really, really big ball. It feels like styrofoam inside of here, but it's pretty big and I think they'll like the yarn on there. So that's why I got that. Whoa. And all right, you guys, I need to put some of this stuff away because... We have a lot more to show you. Yes, we do. I don't know about you guys, but here in Michigan, the weather has been so yucky. It is cold and rainy and windy and definitely not the kind of weather um, I would like to have for Memorial Day weekend. We finally, we got our pool opened up last weekend and it just started getting warmed up. It was almost to 80 degrees, and so now it's like starting back at square one. Okay, where to go next? Lots of stuff. Oh, we will save that for later. Another dad thing that they had, and I thought these were cute. These were little pig, piggy banks, and they had a few other designs of this as well. This says, thanks for being you, world's greatest dad, number one. I just thought that was cute. And I also picked up just a plain coffee mug because in some of my previous hauls, you, if you've seen them, they had the stickers that you put on either cups or glasses, and I got the ones that are for dad. So I want to put those on this cup here. And then somewhere, I, I'll show you when I get to it. I grabbed, I've never seen these before. These are the Pampa brand and they are sliced mango and light syrup. Tell me, have you guys seen or tried mango and syrup. I didn't even know that mangoes came like this. So I grabbed two of them just to check it out. Maybe make a, make a dessert for summer with that. We'll see. And then I've never seen these before. These are the Pyroline cream filled wafers. And I've never seen them in this Meyer lemon flavor. These are so delicious. They're so light and crispy and yeah, I really like them. And I haven't bought them in a long time, but I couldn't pass up the Meyer lemon one. It just sounded really good. Okay, so much more. I grabbed a package of these Sour Jacks. Um, 
mouth puckering candy. These are the watermelon sour wedges. And these are well liked around here by everyone. So there, there aren't that many in here. I just grabbed one. They had these pens and these are scented pens. They are, I really liked it because they have so many colors of ink on here. You know, they have the ones that they've had since like the 80s. They have three or four colors on them, but I grabbed this for me, for work, because I like using different colored inks throughout the day, depending what I'm doing, because it just, it makes it a little funner. It does. These were new to me, and I thought they were pretty cool. They are notebooks. These are crown jewels, and hopefully, I don't know if you guys can see it really well. I don't think you can, but this says Stay Wild, and this one has, does it say, do you say, it does not say how many sheets are in here but I believe these are just plain paper in here and then they had this this notebook here that says free spirit so I just picked up one of those because I thought they were pretty and then I picked up this here I've never seen this before you guys this is starburst jello yes it is all pink and at first I thought it was a box of just um, the strawberry flavored uh, Starburst, but no, this is a six half cup serving worth container of Jello. So that was definitely new to me. They had these cookie cutters I've never seen before and I really only picked them up for this one cutter here because it's a butterfly, but the other ones are cute too, so not bad for a dollar. I just needed some plastic spoons, not a big deal. You get 48 of them. It says heavy duty plastic, but you guys, they're not all that heavy duty, so, but they work for my needs. I found another set of dish towels, pot holders, and oven mitt, and I just thought this was really, really pretty. I loved the saying on it for sure. And here is what the towel looks like. And then the oven mitt. Love the colors and love the font. I just love everything about these for sure. So we're kind of dwindling down. Kind of. I told you guys, this is a really big one. So they had these solar steak lights and I just thought they were so pretty with the hummingbird on there. I love the flower and these don't, don't have super um, bright light to it. I don't know how many LEDs it, it has of throw or lumens, but they are pretty and they do work. And I like putting these in various planters just to add little pops of light around the yard. So I just grab five of those and this is the other mug that I got for Matt it's just like one of the little um, canning jar looking mugs and so I thought those uh, dad stickers would look cute on here so he would have a dad coffee mug and a dad mug glass mug And, oh, I forgot to show these. These reminded me of 80s for sure. For sure. So they had these little ceramic. They must be coming out with all kinds of different ceramic stuff. But they had the thumbs up. So I thought, how cute would the thumbs up be? You know, along with everything else to have in my little YouTube area here. And then they had the peace sign. So I just thought these were kind of cute and fun. And what else? So I saw my girl Casey from Home with Casey haul these and I was pretty happy to find them. Hopefully they have good throw, but these are beautiful little jars of candles, you guys. Look at that. They remind me of small jars of Bath and Body Work. They're just so 
pretty. These would be great to put in a gift for somebody. And this scent here is Passion Fruit Peony. And I've got to say, the smell of the candle is really strong. So I am hoping that these have really good throw. I really am hoping. And then they had one in Pomegranate Lily. I mean, these jars are just so pretty. There we go. Hmm. So good. They smell so high end when you open the jar. And this one is beautiful. Pink Amber Poppy. Look at that. So beautiful. The candles are not colored. They are white. This one so far is more subtle than the others, but it definitely oh, it smells so good. And then, let's see. And then Raspberry Prosecco. That's what the jar looks like here. So cute. This one to me smells more soapy. It doesn't smell like raspberry to me, but it, it still smells really, really pretty. So for sure, if you find those, snatch some of those up because I have a feeling that those are gonna have really, really good throw. And now I'm like, dang it, I should have grabbed some more. Oh well. Story of my Dollar Tree life, but I'm sure I don't need more. Okay, so the next thing that I found, I was so excited to find these. Oh, these are beautiful, you guys. Beautiful. Look at those. Oh my gosh. So they had the one here that has home. I love how it has the little, I think that's eucalyptus wreath. Love it. And this is wood. And then the love with the galvanized metal type of look. Just love those. Love them. So happy to find them. And more notebooks. Because you know I need more notebooks. But these were really cool. They were, first of all, these ones are really big. Bigger than the usual size. And I liked this how they were just like a black look to them and then this is what it says and then they had this one here they had one more but these were my two favorite sayings and they do have just lined paper on the inside it does not say how many sheets are in here i'm going to guess probably 60. and i also found the glasses that match I already put them away that match the kitchen towels so that I just showed you and I know it's hard to see but I just thought these were so pretty it does say it on both sides the live every moment laugh every day love with all your heart so I picked one up of that style and then I also grabbed it in the tall glass so just one of each of those it's really pretty this is the last stuff, you guys. This is a really long video, so I hope you like long Dollar Tree hauls. Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so they had these cute little bags again, and I love these muslin material bags. They are really, really nice quality. They are stitched really well, and these are juncture, so they are made by Greenbrier. But I had to get the one that said that. And then I thought this one was cute as well. And these were new. I've never seen this brand before. These are Feelings. And there are eight regular maxi pads in here. I don't think that's bad for a dollar. I like keeping these in our emergency pantry because in the event of an emergency, can't get to the store, whatnot. Um, I don't think we think often enough about keeping a little stash of these, you know, on hand. And then here are the Loretta pasta salads again, but this is a different flavor. 
they had the, some creamy Parmesan as well. So I grabbed two of those bacon and ranch and then two of the creamy Parmesan. I was so happy to find these huge bins. I'm talking huge, you guys. They are huge. So pretty for putting together gift baskets, for baby shower, bridal shower, or using them as like uh, flower pots. Really, really pretty. Just beautiful for a dollar. I picked up two in the gray and two in the pink. Absolutely just adore those so much. All right, you guys. That is going to be it for this video. I thought I was going to show you my other two bags, but this video is getting way too long and I don't want to rush through showing you the other stuff I got. So I'm going to do a separate video totally dedicated to what are in the other bags, which are all kinds of uh, name brand makeup, hard candy, Maybelline. I think there's some wet and wild in there. Uh, I don't know, but I hit the mother load last Saturday and I'm just really excited to show you guys everything. There's going to be giveaways coming up with the hard, with all this makeup and I got, yeah, it's just a lot. So whew, I just heard my foxy husband come home and so he's been gone all week and that is another reason why I am just going to call this video finished. I hope you enjoyed this fun little 80s themed Dollar Tree haul and yeah so be on the lookout for my next video coming out. I also have another stitch fix on the way. I'm hoping to well I'm looking for more things to order from Shein because I'm really liking the clothes I got after wearing a couple of the shirts this week. I've gotten compliments. They were comfortable um, all day long, which sometimes something feels good when you put it on. But then, you know, six hours into your eight hour day at work, it's not feeling so great, but I'm loving it. So yes, um, be on the lookout for more try-ons. And I hope you guys have a really great weekend. If any of you have served in our military, I just want to say thank you for our thank you for your service. I love you guys so much and what you do for us. And I hope you all have a just safe and beautiful holiday weekend. So until next time, my beautiful friends, stay safe and be blessed. Bye. Like totally. Bye.